So record labels are fucking evil, and here's why. All these posthumous albums, specifically Pop Smoke's album just came out not too long ago, mm -hmm. and they're continually making money off of rappers who have already deceased. That shit is evil. I'm, I'm convinced that shit is evil. I just think it's nasty work. Knowing that Pop Smoke really didn't fuck with niggas in the industry and you got all of Atlantic and Endoscope all through this man's album is disgusting to me. Takashi 6 9 is surviving in my dimension. This coherent shit don't stop because you walk outside of the village, nigga. Headshots. I know some niggas that want me dead, but still I stand. I gotta make hustle and put this. I, uh, I was listening to that joint on the way over here, man, and it's like most of the songs. You can tell we're either partially finished when Pop was still alive, or they might only have one or two takes of it because most of the song was the feature. Yeah. He would pop on for the first verse, or he would pop on the hook of some of these joints. Whole and bunch most of, of the song shit. is the other artist. It's like, man, if you have to get down to the, to the nitty like that, like to the point where he's the feature artist on his own album, yeah, like you probably shouldn't be making a track. Victor, Victor, your days are numbered, fam. You know, so I unfortunately think about stuff like this a lot. And don't it's not a sad thing. But I think about, <laughs> like, my personal legacy when I'm, like, out of here. Mm -hmm. And part of the reason why I and we do a podcast is because we're, we're potentially leaving something here that my kids can go back and listen to and know who their dad was. Right? A footprint. On a personal level. A footprint. Like, Fuck the talks we have when you got in trouble for not doing your homework. You can go back to this podcast and find out who I was to my homeboys, how I felt about things that was going on. Like, that's important to me. Yeah. So part of me also kind of feels like if I'm gone and I was taken away before I got to really kind of fulfill what I thought my destiny was, I kind of want my family to squeeze all the juice out the lemon because I might not have got the opportunity to, get how you to really set it to. up how I would have liked to set it up. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, yeah. if I'm nip, don't fuck with my shit. Because Just leave it as is. I was very clear that I don't want you fucking with my shit. Right. If I'm Prince, I was very clear I don't want you fucking with my shit. Yep. Like, nip had, you yeah. know, all money in and all these things going that yeah. were self-propelled. But I feel like if somebody took me out of here on my plane back to New Mexico, God forbid, like... Right, chop up all my episodes, like <laughs> put them on YouTube, put <laughs> cartoons behind them, like because I, I just feel like I didn't get to do what I set out to do. Yeah. Like now, I'm saying that, but that might not have been how Pop Smoke right. felt. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think it kind of gets cloudy when you're trying to figure out what somebody's intent behind their art was. But it's mm -hmm. a very touchy thing. You know what I mean? It's a sensitive, my, a sensitive issue with it. So a record label will give a kid like Pop Smoke an advance. It'll probably be a million dollars, two million dollar advance. But they want all that shit back. Mm -hmm. And what this tells me is that even in debt, you're going to you pay still, this shit oh. back through your record. Oh yeah, for sure. You want, you want me to take it a level further? If these labels understand that certain artists are more valuable dead, dead than they, more than they are alive, unfortunate. How do you start? How do you start to quantify some of these untimely deaths? Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, let, 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 let's be brutally honest here for a second. Like, if you've been out, maybe I've been grooming you for four or five years. We've been running the numbers. These companies are very analytical, right? And they, somebody walk into your office and be like, hey, man, we ran some numbers and some projections on what would happen. Just, you know, pray tell if so-and-so is no longer with us. You telling me the craven capitalists that we have in this country wouldn't at least think about it. Again, the, 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 the weirdest of circumstances, well, not, not so weird because of, you know, things that go on in our community, but just the, the, the unlikeliest, somebody running into a motorcycle dealership and shooting you because you buying something, you That's, know what I mean? Like, his is still weird. They would love you to believe that your people are so hateful against people that look like them that they would just do that out of instinct. That they would just do that like it was another Tuesday. Yeah. And it would be all the cover that they would need to, to absolve themselves of it. Yeah. So, like, we can't continue to perpetuate this idea that our stories have to be told through death. That, that, that our content has to be tied to trauma, to profit. We have to stop that shit. Yeah. Or else, that's the way of capitalism, bro. If they find out that that's what people eat, 
They will find a way <laughs> to grow serve. it, to grow it, to soup it up, and they go show it to you. Un- unfortunately. So let me ask you this. Do you think there will ever be a time where we see this for bullshit and we boycott listening to the new pop We should start out? doing that effective immediately. I don't even think it's boycotting. I think awareness because niggas go on stream that shit. I don't think we will, to be honest with you. That's, and yeah. that's not me just trying to be like... Negative towards what I what I totally see as being a very beneficial cause. Mm-hmm. Like when we talk about because hip hop is so passionate, mm-hmm. it, it's it's one of the most like identified to the heart genres of music there is. So yeah. you're gonna always have fans that cry to this music. Exactly. Or 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 dated their fiance to this music. Or like for me personally, my beautiful dark twisted fantasy brought me out of a depression, a very real depression. Mm-hmm. So if you telling me that I can't listen to Kanye because it's not good for the industry, I'm going to be like, fuck, fuck you, you, bro. Yeah. I need Devil in a New Dress right now. You don't understand. So it's going. It, that's one of the, the downfalls of our, our culture being so much more of a culture than it is just an industry at most times that we get tied to people's feelings and emotions. So it's a tough thing. It's yeah. a tough break. Here's what you need to push something like that. You need something to get behind. And I think profiting off of black bodies is enough motivation for anybody to get on. That's not, that's not hard to explain to somebody. You also need the right voices to acknowledge it and push it. Yeah. That's the, probably the biggest thing missing in this whole recast, the child thing that we got going on, because there hasn't been that one voice that has a big enough following to say, push no, that's it. wrong. Yeah, to say that's wrong. Like, right. can't do this. Charlemagne, yeah, Charlemagne did his thing a long ass time ago, said something about it. Michael Smith has said something about it. There hasn't been anybody who was willing to put their name on it now. Now. Yeah. And so that's why it kind of hangs in limbo. Certain things like Me Too, Black Lives Matter, those movements get pushed because not only is it a common cause that it's easy for everyone to understand, but people that that you follow, that you idolize, that you that you hold on this pedestal, also push it. So mm-hmm. it's right in your mind, and it's also right in the media's mind. It's, my, it's, it's right in the minds of the people that we're seeing on my screens, right? The people that are filling up my algorithms. So it's like a constant kind of conditioning you into the dogma. Mm. But if you have this, this kind of... This idea that you have to expound on, or you have to over-explain, and then all, and then behind that, it ain't a whole lot of people that's 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 down with it. Then that's how that's how movements stay stagnant. You would just need one of somebody in the industry to speak honestly about this shit. Yeah. Like like this shit is a nasty business. At least if if, if, if at least acknowledge whether or not they're having these conversations while these artists are still alive. That's enough motivation as it is. Right. And I absolutely 100% believe they are. For sure. Having these conversations about how to monetize on these young men after they're dead. It's happening too often for them to not be having that conversation. Or when so niggas like, go to jail. Think about how sports teams treat their athletes. Do you think the Lakers is going to let uh, Anthony Davis just gallivant all up through Watts and Compton by himself? Do you think they about to let anybody that they paying millions of dollars, KCP, you think they about to let him go to fucking Roscoe's by, by himself? I mean, the nigga know, was on house arrest. practice or some shit like that. You make sure that your assets that you need protected are protected. Right. These record I mean, labels do nothing to keep their artists safe if they're not at an event, they if they're not at a concert. They definitely let uh, Lou Williams go to the strip club, so that, that speaks volumes. They ain't yeah, let Lou Williams like. do shit. <laughs> Lou Williams got the wings. You know, I ask you, though, like, and, and I believe in what you're saying, too. You think somebody, I, while you was talking, I was thinking, like, who could possibly have the stature that's black in Hollywood that could say something and say, like hey, that. recast T'Challa. And I got mm-hmm. to thinking and thinking and thinking, and I'm like, the best I could do in my mind was Will Smith. That's do you think Will Smith? Denzel. Even, now I know he looking a little funny. Denzel, like, to us funny. Right. Denzel has a connection to Chad. Well, the, reason why, I, I get the reason why I came walk around yet. with Will Smith because he's done the hero thing. Yeah. Yeah. He's been that guy. That token like, black we guy. We love Denzel. We know his voice is heavy, but mm-hmm. he don't he don't do the superhero thing. You know what I mean? Like Will Smith not his bag. from that space. Like you'll you'll see spoken. him out. Do you think people would listen if Will Smith like jumped in and said it, it only it takes one person to kick it off. Because I guarantee the reason why 
even people who feel like he should be casted who are of celebrity status haven't spoken on it now because they don't want to fight the machine. They don't want to be one of 35,000 and they got the biggest following out of the 35,000. Right. It makes right? me wonder why Don Cheadle ain't said nothing. That is interesting. Well, I don't think any anybody, any of the actors are going to speak out about it now. What they'll do is, if Black Panther 2 comes out and it, and it falls flat on his face the way that we predict it will, right? What you'll see is People later on, Kevin Feige and them already laying the, the groundwork for this now. Um, an interview they just did like a, a week ago about phase phase four. But what you'll see is you'll see people coming out talking about, well, yeah, you know, I presented this to Ryan and, you know, I said this, but it, it fell on deaf ears. You know, I went to try and talk to Nate Moore about the problems with killing the first black superhero, the first mainstay superhero. But, you know, it fell on deaf ears. And all the while, they sitting up here cheesing and grinning, talking about how they're going to honor Chadwick now, today. Right, right, right. Today. Yep. That's what will happen with the actors. Kevin Feige is straight up telling y'all now. Regardless of how this film works out, Ryan Coogler and Nate Moore made these decisions. Yeah, they had to fight I, so. I, All I ever hear from fucking uh, about Kevin Feige is how masterful of a producer he is and, and how great he is at creating content and this run that the MCU is on. And a lot of that is, is warranted because it, it, you've never seen a film studio have this type of run. It, 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 even, even for the House of Mouse, this is unprecedented, right? But... For him to sit up there and say, or, or to start to put the onus of Black Panther solely on the shoulders of Ryan Coogler and Nate Moore, when you have been the godfather of the MCU over the last 10, 11 years, lets me know you don't want to be liable for how this, this particular film plays out. Because you take credit for everything else. You yeah. sit back while everyone else exalts you for every other film that was put in the last 10 years. Why not Black Panther 2? Why are you not talking about how you are intricately involved in Black Panther 2? It's because there's some potentially problematic shit going on in that movie. I think they know it. They know it now for sure with the five scripts. <laughs> and so he's prefacing it. He's like, well, look, it ain't a whole lot we can do to change it now because we literally started filming at the beginning of this month. But whatever comes out, I'm sure Ryan Cooler and Nate Moore did a great job. I think we all need to just prepare ourselves for... Black Panther being killed off while Pop Smoke plays in the background. Oh, yeah, for sure. He, he getting uh, packed out to so Dior. Everybody just get ready. He's getting packed out to Dior. Us. I'm not watching that movie. They going from Wakanda to Canarsie. <laughs> All right, well, this is a great segment. <laughs> <laughs> I just got depressed. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, okay, so we talked about Will Smith being that person for a recast of Chala. Who would be that person I think it's it's almost obviously Jay Z will probably be the person who Jay Z not gonna do that. I thought Jay Z, but Jay Z nah, he, he give a fuck, but he ain't about to step on this. I mean, because the, the biggest problem is is like you gotta have somebody that's taken serious in that space. And that's yeah, and that, like and we that. love Hove. Mm -hmm. He can talk to us as a hip hop community, but Hollywood don't give a fuck about what he's talking about. Like it has to be somebody that has some weight in that space in Hollywood and film. Like has Hove garnered any of that? I could be wrong. I, not that, not that I, for, I, I think for pop smoke. Oh, for pop. I'm thinking yeah, I think MCU he, still. Yeah. He has that. Hope can say stop it. Yeah, he got that. <laughs> he can say stop He's it. He's just not going to do it. It's He's Con not going to do it. This is a product of Kanye, dog, so he ain't going to step into that. He's not going to do I that. I mean, he tried to say some shit about Prince, and nobody cared. People still, yeah, nobody yeah. Yeah. Niggas well, still yeah. do what they want with his shit, so he yeah. tried with that. Jay-Z ain't about to step in for Pop Smoke. He was, you know what I mean? It had to be an OG who's disaffected with the industry. The name Joe Button keeps flashing in my head, and I don't want it. Oh, <laughs> it keeps oh, flashing. No. It hey, keeps flashing. Hey, hey, bro, get your house in order first. Now, I'll yeah. say maybe pre Rory and Maul starting their own no. black no. army. They don't even talk music no. anymore. Yeah, get, get your no. house. I don't know what they talk about. Don't worry about what's going on over here. Fix yeah. that first. Mind yours, <laughs> Joseph. Yeah. Mind um, yours. Give me another OG who's disaffected Snoop with Dog. the music industry. He loved, he loved it. He loved everything corporate right now. That nigga making Tostitos money. Corona. Corona money. 50? I, I wish I could. He loved know, corporate. I can't take him. Seriously. They're not going to take that from 50, though. 50, 50 wants it to be a person who is close. Well, 50 wants this to continue, though. I think 50 though. is a rebel enough to do it, but somebody would probably have to, like, To really back him. Peep it. Well, actually, he may be the, the, the optimal candidate because of his relationship with Pop. Maybe somebody could yeah. get to him and make him see it. 
they probably already see it, but maybe they can make you care more about it. That's the case. Hey, five. y'all think Travis Scott? Travis Scott. Is a I mean, he was. Himself. He's oh, another nigga that's gonna yeah, pop I mean, he, he was a Jack boy. So he was he a Jack had a boy. Personal relationship with Pop Smoke, with Pop. and then he could come from a personal space he's and say, "Hey, it's my guy." Pop, and he's nah, probably Travis benefiting off it too. Is as hell. I mean, that is McDonald's. You throw a check at him, yeah. You throw a check at him, he's gonna bend anyway. Just like Quavo, he's also profiting off of this. They ain't about to say nah. I'm sorry for the Smoke family. I I just think they're just gonna milk this thing until there's no more. Any other thoughts on it? I can't imagine he even got his royalty, so it's like that money's not going back to his family. You you helping the record label get rich. Yeah. Let the Twitter oh, yeah. detectives say it is benefiting his family. They don't the fuck they talking the about. The fuck it is. The fuck yeah. it is. His mom needs it. Does she? Is she getting any of this? So then y'all so. niggas go donate to his family. Why do you have to to continue to try and and market this dead person? To make sure his family eat. If you want to give his family some money, then break them off. Hey, 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 hey. Where y'all going? Where y'all going? Thanks for watching another Back of the Bus Squad episode. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you want to check out another episode related to this, go ahead and click that video to the left. If you want to catch up on some of our other episodes, make sure you click the playlist below.